locally hated? Bro, nobody knows you. The only people who know you are the $10 prostitutes. And they probably hate you because you still try to lowball them. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm mad. And it's not your guys' fault, but I'm going to take it out on you guys today. I just wasted, I wouldn't say wasted, but I just spent five hours of my life trying to drop the McLaren fuel tank. Whoever designed the fuel tank at McLaren needs to be taken out back and dealt with. Ridiculous. The only thing left is the feed line. And my tie f***ing advice, whoever designed it, they must have hands smaller than my f***ing pinky. Because to get up to where the AN fitting is... That's how big your hand would have to be. It's ridiculous. I'm gonna go back tomorrow and finish up the job, but I'm mad and you guys are screwed. Today, I'm roasting your guys' cars. It's done, game over. Your guys' ego, your guys' self-esteem plummeting right now. I feel bad for what's about to happen. If you guys wanna submit your car for a roast, send it to my Gmail, drewpeacock.clips at gmail.com. Hit that like button and put in the subject bar, I hit like, and it should end up in a video. Anyways, let's dive right in. <laughs> Old man Jenkins, <laughs> C6 Corvette. Look at this guy right here. Look at this guy. This guy thinks he's doing big moves right here. Oh, a little carbon hood. Oh, big things coming, huh? You're still on these flat-faced fucking Hot Wheels wheel. These are dog shit wheels. Bro likes his wheels how he likes his women. Flat as fuck. Well, you get, it looks like you got a positive camber in the back, old man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? Maybe it's a good thing you put a little positive camber so when you get a little too close to the curb, you know, that you just got that much more room because you're not going to be able to curb it. 6.0 liter. Gotta put the 6.0 liter on my fucking Corvette. Why are you flexing the 6.0? It ain't no Z06. Well, what, what are you showing off? That you cheaped out? You're showing off what exactly, huh, old man? What are you, what are you showing off here? You're just, you're, what, you're showing off the base model? Couldn't afford the Z06? Come on, old man. Work 50 years of your life, retired, can't, can't get the Z06? What was the point? What was the point of working? Hmm? Should've quit day one. Should've quit day one. Should've saw this coming. And this dude painted his hood to make it look like a goddamn Viper. You should've just bought the Viper. But we all know that was definitely out of the budget. I mean, I mean, looking at this thing, we, 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 we could clearly tell. It's probably a good thing old man's only got the K&N intake. Although this gold tape does make him feel like he did he did a little something extra special there. But buddy, it's it's an intake. It ain't a turbo kit. Okay, there, there ain't no boost running through there. It ain't, it ain't getting that hot trust. You can take your little LS2 and shove it up your ass. Just like the prostate exam I'm sure you had earlier this week. But to be honest, I'm sure you get those monthly because you just like them. Also, what's the point of putting Vortex generators on a C6 Corvette? Giving it a little bit of a spiky hairdo. I know you're bald as fuck, but stop trying to style your car's hair because you ain't got none. And you must be going blind because those taillights probably look like your cataract's fucking eyeballs. It's all hazy and shit. You know, like when you got an old dog and they can't see fucking jack shit? Someone get this guy's license. Take him away. All right, next one. Oh, he sent it twice. Oh, old man must have Alzheimer's too. Sent it twice. Fucking idiot. Get out of here. This isn't a car. This is a fucking mat made by a third grader. What, what, what are these wheels? Those aren't even circles. This thing melt? This better be for Halloween. This dude's got a plaque of his car, a carpet of his car. I knew that this dude ain't got no girlfriend, that's for sure. Can't be having all this shit and have a girlfriend. Ain't happening. Not happening. You really sent me a picture of your steering wheel. Disconnected. When bro was sending his email, he was like, this is the one. This is... He needs to see this. This this will really get him riled up. Lower your car. You don't need as much wheel gap as I have tooth gap. That was a personal roast for myself. Self-inflicted right there. That's what we call that. I don't know why you got your fucking hood popped. There ain't a goddamn thing interesting underneath this hood to look at. Close that shit back up and let everybody walk on by and not waste their time looking at this thing. Also bought some bum-ass candy right there. Look at that shit. What even is that? A bunch of no-name shit. Fucking Dollar General. Get out of here. Estimated 195 horsepower. Probably should have kept that to yourself. That's something you just keep in there. Don't don't even tell nobody. Let them just guess. I would have guessed 300 horsepower, maybe 250 horsepower. 195. Keep that in there. Don't even don't 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 ever spout that out. You go to a car meet, just say I don't know. You'd be better off saying that because repping the BMW that has as much horsepower as an Integra from the 90s, not not a big flex, especially when your mod list looks like this. Ugh, disappointing. Oh, great. We got a drug dealer's car. Caddy Daddy or Daddy Caddy. Same shit. Normally, I would say this guy looks like he's got three unclaimed kids, but by his taste in cars and mods, this guy ain't getting no bitches. That's for sure. Bro, looks like he's got some low air in his front left tire. I don't know what I expected from the dude. This guy doesn't have an air compressor. Impressive. The Cadillac has a digital cluster. Bro, dad ass put flames on his car and on his window. Locally hated. Bro, nobody knows you. The only people who know you are the $10 prostitutes. And they probably hate you because you still try to lowball them. This looks like every other crackhead's car. Like, this th this doesn't look like anything special. Shitbox edition? It ain't even a shitbox. You failed at being a shitbox and you failed at being a build. 
you went straight to the crackhead edition. Straight up, I've seen more interesting builds in, in, in fucking Skid Row. Do yourself a favor, just cut the brake lines, put a brick on the gas pedal, and just let it go off into the sunset. Done deal. If you want to be in the car, that's up to you. Oh, you're going to meet the Lord and Savior after this one, don't you worry. Mustang GT. He's got the GT350 front end. You want to know what that means? That means that he ain't got jack shit underneath the hood. I could tell you right now, without seeing any of these photos, there might be an intake underneath the hood, but there ain't going to be jack shit else because this donkey spent all of his money on the GT350 front end. Let's see if I'm right or let's see if I'm wrong. He probably doesn't even show underneath the hood. Got a 5.0 badge, of course. Are those still stock wheels? No. The niche wheels? Niche wheels on the 5.0. Oh, God, I got, this is going to be trash. Fucking trash-ass car right here. Doesn't even show anything. Okay, we got a little flame map. That's it? That's all we did? That's it. No no photos of underneath the hood. I already knew right off the rip. I already knew what I was looking at. Just from this photo, I knew this is going to be a trash-ass build. It's going to be all cosmetic shit and just some clout-chasing fucking flame kit. Let, let's read his description. I don't usually read descriptions in roasts. But I just want to prove my point. Not much done to it. First thing he says, JLT intake, a throttle body, cat delete, X-pipe, and uh, the Corsa axle back. He also has a Hot Licks exhaust flame kit. And that's the only thing he has under his rice category. Only thing you have under the rice category? You made it look like a GT350. You put a giant ass cow hood on it. You got a fucking big old wicker bill on it. And you have an intake and an exhaust with a flame kit? Reevaluate your build. You went wrong somewhere. You spent thousands of dollars on a bunch of nothing to look cool when this thing is barely faster than a stock one. You also bought some cheap ass fucking garbage wheels. Like, yeah, they look fine. They look cool, but they're cheap. We already know that. I don't think it's these exactly, but yeah, 235 a pop. Can somebody please take their fucking kid's phone away from them? They're sending in their mom's car as if as if I'm supposed to roast this thing. They're sending in their mom's daily driver, man. She's she's already uh, had enough having to deal with you, but now you don't need to have me flame your mom's car. Like this is this is just depressing right here. Why even open your hood if there isn't jack shit under here for me to look at? Huh, Drew's really going to want to see the factory airbox. He's really going to be impressed with that. Oh my god, look at the stock Volvo. Drew's really gonna be excited to see this one. Gonna be hyped. Drew's gonna be so hyped to see the stock Volvo. Looks like it just rolled off the dealership lot. If this was 2015. Let's read his dumbass description. Working to put it on coilovers and add a Magnaflow exhaust. 300 horsepower at 5600. And 325 torque at 2100. Free of vortex generators and tabletop wings. You have a stock car. Don't open your lips. You ain't done nothing yet. A at least the vortex generators and the tabletop wings did something. You ain't even start yet. You ain't got nothing to show. This was your mom's car and, and she just gave it to you and you put a license plate frame on it. And you're missing two bolts. You can't even do that right. Don't touch the exhaust. Don't touch this car. Game over. You already lost. 1990 Mazda Miata, and this right here might be my 13th reason. This, oh my god, it's 2024. Please leave the heart Sirakawas back in 2022. Those that trend has been dead longer than my grandmother. Like, th this is horrible. I'm surprised there's no broken hearts on this piece of shit. Race seats and harnesses with a roll bar looking like this. I already know you don't track this thing. But it's sick, bro. Everyone at the car mate thinks it's sick. Fucking cool, man. I get all the fucking girls. It's fucking sick. Let's put some sick Japanese text on the windshield, bro. That'll get all the bitches. I slow. We know. Modifying a Miata in 2024 is like riding a scooter at a skate park. No one likes you. Not unless you got an OnlyFans. Because I feel like it's only OnlyFans girls that got these cars nowadays. The good news is, if you buy it off of them, you know they don't beat around on it because they just buy it for clout. Oh, I wonder what is the cheapest car I could buy to get in the car scene. The Miata. I love it. I used to get submitted cool cars, and now I'm just getting submitted fucking stock-ass daily drivers. How how are these people? It's just, you know what it is? It's people that get their first car, and they just send it to me when they're like 16. This, like, bro sent in his NPC car and is asking me to roast it. I it wouldn't even be roasting your car. This is BMW's car. This ain't your car. You haven't done anything to it. What do you want me to roast? These fucking people, man. It's my 2005 330i. It's my first car. It runs great. No issues. And it's stock. And daddy didn't buy it. I did. It's a 2005 330i. Who gives a fuck? 
I ain't down that you could buy this. It's not a Lamborghini. It's a fucking 2005 330i. For shits and giggles, I will see what they go for. Whoa. Wow. Bill Gates really sent their car to me, huh? Wow. $6,900. And that's a high price. Wow. I don't know Steve Jobs was still around making that money. Good job, man. That's great. Honda Civic SI. It's a built Honda Civic SI. You know how much this built block turbocharged Honda Civic SI makes? Guess. I want you to guess. You might be saying, oh, built? Turbo? 600 horsepower? 700 horsepower? I don't know. 500 horsepower? No, no, no. Keep going down. 450? Nope. 425? Nope. This, this car makes 411 wheel horsepower. Why build the block? Why build the block? Uh, I don't know what these blocks can handle stock. But I know a K24 can handle more than that. Hell, my K24 will do over 450 probably with its turbo kit. And I didn't build the fucking block. Talk about burning money. And then what is he on? Cosmos? Is that what he on? What, what are these? I think that's what they are. No, they're not. They're not even that. These are like just some fake ass TE37s with some all seasons. You ain't putting that to the floor. What are these? Are these the Yankees? These might be the Yankee reps. The Yankee TE reps. Pretty sure that's what they are. Whatever, they look like fake TE37s. They look like some great value brand shit. But good thing you built the block. There's a special place in hell for you. There is. There really is. If you... I hate Mustang owners with a passion. I hate them. I hate all of them. Maybe not all of them. I hate, I hate most of them, though. This looks like it's a boosted car. Like, that looks like an intercooler underneath there. But you put teeth on it, and you put, like, this doesn't even make sense. Where are those hood pins going to? There's nothing back there for them to, to pin to. Right? Am I tripping? Uh, maybe. I guess, yeah. They're, they're, is that what that is? Why would you pick all the way back there of all places? It looks so fucking bad. I guess they, they are... No, what? No shot. No, they're not. They might be, but it's a stock hood. Don't let it fool you. That's a fake scoop right there that they just stick on. I don't know. It's a fucking ugly ass car though, regardless. Oh my god, it just got so much worse. I read the description. Holy shit. It, got, it just got so much worse. Here's my husband's 2016 EcoBoost Mustang. Here's a simple list of stuff he did to it. It's tuned, he upgraded his turbo, it's full bolt-on, and it makes between 430 and 450 wheel horsepower. So it makes full bolt-on V8 horsepower. Is your husband blind? Is there Are those actually hooked up correctly? Because I don't think they are. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just an illusion, but this looks way closer. I don't think your husband's that stupid, but I could be wrong. Not see, I've never seen them so far back. Tell your husband to remove the teeth on his vehicle before I remove his teeth with my fists because that is fucking horrible for the Mustang community and I will not stand it. Also, also, whoever designed the stupid teeth is beyond stupid because those teeth would not be able to close past that. They don't mesh. You see that? that, that, that it, they're already almost touching. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, and I think your husband's colorblind as well. You should probably get that checked. That is pretty bad. How old is your husband? Let me let me ask that. Is he senile? He must be senile. Are, are you just with him to get that bag? Uh, let, let me tell you, sweetie. If he's if he's out here flexing the eco boost, you ain't getting that bag. There ain't no bag to be had. I can't believe this is actually one of your guys' cars. I don't know how you watch my videos and be like, yeah, I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to be that guy. We have the Rainbow Road fucking Chevy Impala, fake hood scoop, tow mirrors. We have aftermarket headlights. Why do this to your car? What does that say? Street to track? You ain't tracking this thing. Those look like mud tires. Those ain't no summer tire. <laughs> You've got rust chewing out these goddamn wheel wells either that or your fucking sister has rabies and she's just chewing on your car for fun god splatter in the interior i didn't know we were still in 2015 that's something you would see in a muscle versus tuner video splatter paint jobs only look cool when you're in high school after that you realize how fucking stupid they look because of how tacky they are put it this way if i could splatter with my penis it's not a talent and it doesn't look cool. Unless it's on your mom's face, then it looks pretty sick. But yeah, my point is it's very easy to do this. It takes no skill, so no skill equals not cool. I honestly wanna know, how much meth did you smoke while designing this car? The answer is probably just yes, all of it. I, I had all of it. I mean, it's obviously for jokes, but it's not even a funny joke just because it is truly a piece of shit car, so. 
There is no joke to be had. You are the joke. The owner, not the car. All right, I, I think that's it for today. I think I think that's plenty. I can't take much more of that. Let's just say that. That was pretty painful. Hopefully you guys learned from this. Don't be as dumb as these people. I'm going to go fix my McLaren tomorrow, and then she will be track ready. We may or may not do an event before we get the big wing and all the arrow, so we'll have to see. But uh, yeah, hopefully after tomorrow, we'll have an idea of what the fuel issue is, and then we could fix it. So anyways... See you guys later. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you want to see your car in one of these videos, send it to my Gmail, DrewPeacock.com. Anyways, until next video, peace. If you guys want to submit your car for a row, send it to my Gmail, DrewPeacock.com. Hit that like button and put in the subject bar, I hit like, and it should end up in a video.